Uh, yeah, Nick, I, for anyone that had some uh, critique of our non-conference schedule, if you were at the game and you saw that team that we played against tonight in Southern Miss, you'd realize that's a really good basketball team. They're old, they're experienced, they've got size, length, athleticism, they're well coached, they play really, really together on the defensive end. And uh, I knew that it was going to be tough, uh, but I, I've done this 32 years now, I think. I'm not sure I've ever been in a game where a team was down 26 in the second half, 17 and a half to go, and came back to take the lead. I, I've said all along that our group has a ton of character, and I think they showed it tonight because that could have very easily been a, a game in which we, uh, we gave up or we doubted at some point in the second half and uh, lost our way. And, uh, again, credit Southern Miss for uh, the way they played. And, but I'm proud of our guys, and I think we're going to be a really good team. Well, we've, we've known Brody's a really good player, so uh, I think just having seen it go in for him is is good for us because he, he can get going like that. He's a natural scorer, and he's not just a shooter. So uh, I really like what he did. And all the other guys didn't have some great uh, scoring stats. I, I thought Joseph and Isaiah played really well. Shiloh had a good night. Um, we, we've got a good team. We're, we'll figure it out, and uh, and I think we'll be really competitive uh, as the season progresses. Last one for me, then I'll turn it over to the media in the room or online here. Uh, Smitty pointed out that the two-man game tonight with uh, Hase and with uh, Crowley, how much were they able to work that against you guys? Yeah, they were good. Like Again, Hase is, I, I want to say he's preseason first team, all Sun Belt. Um, we knew he was good, and Crowley is a, a top, I think, 50 player that went to Ole Miss, and he's good. So, Again, there's enough talent and experience on their roster to beat a lot of people. And uh, I think our guys battled. And obviously, it wasn't enough. But, yeah, they're, they're a difficult matchup, and we're going to see more of that in, uh, in Mexico. There were actually actually some shots they made in the first half that were really tightly contested. And again, we don't have the same length that they do. Uh, so I, I think it was just a matter of our guys being a little tougher. And whenever you see the ball go in, I think it, it helps on the other end as well, put a little pressure or game pressure on them. Uh, we made a couple of minor adjustments, but again, it wasn't enough down the stretch. But uh, yeah, I think we'll learn from it. Yeah, Dave, uh, <laughs> legendary Dave Till. Uh, I, I think we've won a lot of games over the however many years, and I think there's a level of expectation and a standard that I, our guys pursue on a daily basis. And it's hard when you get down that many points. The crowd was terrific. Uh, you know, we're we're looking forward to uh, challenging ourselves in in Mexico, and I, I think it would be real easy to take a Southern Miss group for granted. Uh, I don't think that's what happened. Uh, I think we finally reeled it back in, had a belief, and uh, and I think it's I think it's indicative of the guys that have gone before the guys that were on the floor tonight, and uh, and, and again shows the character of this group. Well, I think we caught them with about 10 minutes ago. So, but uh, I thought we could pull it off in the locker room because I've seen our group practice enough. Yet we spent a lot of gas in making a run like that, and uh, Darius especially. I, I don't know if I took him out, but for a minute, 
So that's really hard. But you're going to have to get through the hard if you're going to be a postseason contender. And uh, so, again, I hate losing, especially at home. But I feel like our guys battled and played against a really good team tonight. <clears throat> Down the stretch there. I mean, do, you, do you kind of ride the hot hand or do you just try to still get the best shot possible? What is the kind of philosophy of those last four minutes when, when the game's tight? Are you looking for Brody? Or are you just telling everybody, run the offense, let's get the best shot? And then can you also comment on the crowd tonight for a non conference Friday night game? Yeah, I think in our system it's whoever's open. And our guys know when there's a hot hand. We've seen Darius McGee have a hot hand pretty frequently. Um, and certainly, they knew where Brody was. But again, I don't know if I can speak this enough. All of that length is really hard to play against. And uh, I think our guys did a good job of making some adjustments and finding some looks. And I think we were spurred by a raucous crowd. That was, that was as good as I've seen or felt the arena. Maybe Missouri was as good. Uh, but really happy that not only our students, but our community came out to support us. And, and I promise you, we'll We'll have a good team, and our program will continue to rise. We got, we got one from Ed Lane virtually. Go ahead, Ed. Thank you, Mark. Half time was it? Half time was it motivational? What was the philosophy you and your staff had that uh, helped this team rally to start that comeback in the second half? Uh, Ed, it's the character in the room. We we went from a 19 point deficit to a 26 point deficit the first two and a half. So again. I don't think it was a fire and brimstone because that, that's not really my personality or uh, these major adjustments. It was, like Dave Till mentioned, it was the group that believes that they can win in spite of any circumstance. And, again, didn't get the desired outcome, but uh, I, think we've got, uh, I think we've got a really good team and a good program, and we're proud to represent Liberty. Yeah, I think when you're the nation's leading returning scorer, you obviously get game plan for. And uh, he's such a quick player uh, and, and can get his feet set off the bounce as well as anyone I've ever seen. He's a hard guard, whether it's size, quickness, length. It's really hard to guard him. And uh, tonight in the second half, he just he decided to take over a little bit. And we've seen that from him before. But uh, felt like we... Uh, yeah, felt like we could have executed a little bit better down the stretch, but again, we'll learn from it. 